a lot of good. There are retro bikes, there are new bikes, there are mountain bikes, there are even bikes with motors attached to them, although I thought they were called motorcycles, but obviously not. Andy Parr is here to tell us about all of them. Hang on. Motorcycles are next week, but today That's we right. have the ones that are really a lot of fun. Bicycles, and boy, are they growing. But, you know, before you get on your bicycle, there's a few things you have to do. Mm -hmm. Number one, a helmet. I mean, in many states, they are law, depending, so you need to check, you know, your, uh, your local laws before you go riding. But look what they've done now for the kids to make them more fun. Like, you know, here's a, a Mickey Mouse type helmet. But you find these ranging from 30 to $40, all the way up to 100 to 150 The one I'm wearing today, I notice they even put my, my name on it. So, you <laughs> of know, of course, I have to wear that Shamelessly one. Shamelessly self-promoting oh, the Gadget Guru, which is why we love you. Oh, it, it is, <laughs> but uh, this is from GT. This is a new model called the Pegasus. This is about $100, and what it does on the back, it has a gripper, because when you go to buy a helmet, you need to make sure it fits. Yeah. Also, gloves are important, and if you're going to buy a lock. I mean, a bike, you need to right. get a lock. I got a, the helmet I got new one has this, and it makes all the difference in the world. It really does. It back it on your head, it's not sliding. And you need to make sure that you wear it down. Not up like that, but right. you bring it down over your forehead. Now, in terms of bikes, what we found out through the 1996 census, that although only 12% 12, 12 of the new buyers are buying them for uh, exercise, right. more than 80% are buying them for recreation. So for people like you and me, you're looking for a good cushy seat. By the way, this one is from Diamondback. This is their Voyager 2. Aluminum I've frame. I've spent most of my life looking for a good cushy seat. <laughs> really? well, this you is got making, it here. Because huh? I remember when I was in college when I had, you know, it took a while to get used yeah. to. But you're seeing, in fact, let me show you the new gear systems they have on here. Remember the old days you'd have to take your hands off to shift? Right. On these, you just twist. Okay. And you never have to take your hands off the handlebar. And it's really a wonderful way to do it. The good news, these aren't that expensive. A men's about, you know, this model, about $500, has a shock absorber. The women's about $400, and they even bring the seat in so you're not stretched out as far. But it's really Shock absorber is okay even if you're just street riding. You For don't need to riding. be doing mountain riding and get the benefit of the shock absorber. You're absolutely right. Now, speaking of mountain bikes, Trek has always been a good name. This model is about $700. You know, more of a harder seat, mm -hmm. flat bars, more of the mountain type of thing, the knobby tires, but you're sitting that out for there. But for the true diehards, look, look at this. this. Huh? I mean, this is a, a bicycle built for two or a tandem, but it's full mountain bike. Look at the shock absorbers and everything. And this is from Santana. Now, granted, you have to be serious to buy this bike because it's upwards of $7,000. So it's not one for me and you, but... I don't think we'll take this one home, huh? I have one for... Jack, this is my favorite bike of the year. Now, what this is designed for, this is the new Charger electric bike. Now, it's not an electric bike. It's truly an assisted bike. Now, here's so all this This isn't a motorbike. This is a bicycle. It, it, it's a bicycle, but what it does has this motor that charges up, has a plug right here. Right. Uh, charged up in four hours. It can give you 20 miles at 20 miles an hour. In fact, sit on this, and I'll okay. show you how this works here. We have it stationary. Now, when you pedal, you notice it's a lot of resistance. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it on down here, and in a moment, it's going to turn on here. Now, I'm going to give you power assist. Do you notice how it's all of a sudden, when you're pedaling, it's going to go further? And, and what it does, this is designed, if you want to ride with your friends and they're seasoned right. and you're not, you can keep up with them, and it's only about $1,700. All right. Now, I even found the hot bike for somebody like your son. Right. Check this out. This is the power light. This is what the kids want today. This bike sells for about $300. It's designed for stunts. In fact, we have David Alden, who is a pro. Jack, you notice they're not asking us to do this. He, he is a pro, as I knock a bike down. But look how he handles this bike. This is something that, you know, the, the younger set is really doing well these days. And... You know, unlike us old folks, but, you know, this is something that kind of brings back memories this, from us. You and I got these to go away with, and we're not doing any David's tricks. But, yeah. Andy? Yeah, these are the dinos, and these are lots of fun. All right, we'll go off on these. When we return, we're going to have some tips for you, helping you to raise some very smart children. Stay with us. We're back after these messages. Ooh, look at these, huh? The days are long and the classrooms are overcrowded.